Hi everybody. To get an explanation of this deck of cards I'm getting ready to show you here, you're going to have to back up just a little bit and check out the game Upwind that was just recently successfully kickstarted uh, by Biohazard Games and Nocturnal Media. Uh, the main author, Jeff Barber, uh, graciously gave me permission to put out a deck of cards that can go along with this game. Uh, and they also have their own awesome deck of cards that's going to be coming out a little bit later called the Knight's Deck. But you want to check this out. You can get their primer here on Drive Through uh, RPG for free, where you can check everything out. The interesting thing, the most interesting thing I think about this, besides the awesome setting, is this new queue system that they describe about how they can resolve um, conflict and actions and skills and things like that, which are, normally have been pretty clunky in other systems. And in this system, they're pretty quick because you can use card plays. So out of a deck of cards, just a regular standard deck of cards, um, you can choose kind of out of your hand to play those cards down to resolve some actions. Um, I'll leave the major details to that for you to read in the primer as you download that. But suffice to say that there are four types of magic that are called potential that are represented by the suits here of these cards. And so uh, if we take a look at a sample character sheet that they had provided here, uh, you can see that a, or you'll believe me, that over here are some uh, small representations of the, diff the four different suits. You know, you've got your hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades over here, and different abilities that you have listed are tied to those suits, but in particular, you pick one set of magic. And so, um, for this particular potential user, uh, if you can see, they've got circled that they're going to be using the clubs as their uh, magic. And that has to do with something called arc. So what you need to do is in your deck of cards, you need to be able to pull out all of the arc cards or the club cards. And so to do that, uh, what I've done is I've made all the arc cards actually say arc on them so that you can quickly pull those out for use as your potential. So I can just take all of these arc cards uh, and set those off to the side. The rest of these are used for my uh, skills and abilities and uh, they have the other symbols on there so we have the spades with wind, we have uh, the hearts as rain, and then we have the uh, diamonds as ore. Each potential also uh, has a some specific uh, properties that it relates to, like intelligence and perception, which I've listed over here on the side. And then also you can do what's called crowning in a play. And I've put the rules for crowning right here. This is a prototype, and, and uh, I can see that these, uh, these words didn't come out too well with that icon in the back. So I've moved these words down on the actual deck so you can read them a little bit clearer. Uh, but it tells you when you can crown. So like, for example, with an ace, you can crown with any play. And uh, with a king, you can crown with uh, combat, strategy, leadership, uh, nobility, diplomacy, or forceful authority. So the different ways you can crown are already on there so that you see those. I also have included uh, two jokers for you to choose from. So, uh, and that's again when you would automatically win one of those plays. And then the last thing that you might be uh, find useful in this deck of cards is I've made some cash cards here so uh, that you can use to represent using your caches. So if, if you're using your ancestral cache, you can you know either have this in your hand and then uh, remove it from your hand and you know place it face down if you've used it. Uh, you could have it face up on the on the side of your of your character sheet. So you know you've got these available. You set these down over here, and as you use them, you can flip them over. Oh, this one's been used this session, so I'm done with that one. Uh, but they're just markers for you to be able to use your caches. So I have the ancestral cache, the knight's cache, the cultural cache. I also made a relic cache just in case your relic. Uh, gives you a cache. I made a story cache card in case the GM would give you a story cache that you can use later under different circumstances. Uh, oh yes, and then your talent cache. Uh, but I think it's actually called a trait now. So um, the, in, this is again a prototype, so I've replaced it with the word trait because that's what's on the, uh, the character sheets there. So uh, if you'd like to use this deck of cards for your play, with Upwind and then go pre-order Upwind from their website which you can find uh, on the Biohazard website. That would be awesome. Thanks for checking it out.